Hi guys, uh, welcome to DIY Agric, uh, your poultry uh, success partner. So today I want to be showing you how to debake your uh, hen by using the hand debaker. This is what the hand debaker uh, looks like. It's just a small piece of um, uh, tool that you can uh, plug into the electricity source and um, the element becomes hot such that uh, it's able to cut the beak of the hen and also uh, cauterize the tip of it at the same time. So this is what the hand uh, beaker looks like. I'm going to show you better. And then um, the few reasons why we debake our hen. The first one is to uh, prevent cannibalism. That is one hen pecking uh, another. And another reason is to prevent egg eating so they don't get to peck the eggs with their sharp beak and um, thirdly you want to prevent the feather plucking some of them by the time they are pruning themselves they begin to pluck the feathers and they even do that for the other hen that is another hen nearby so those are the key reasons why you want to debick your hen but this debicking is a very technical um, procedure and you have to take certain precautions when you are doing it so you want to ensure that you are careful with the hand you want to ensure the hands safety in your hands while you debeak you want to make sure that the hand is safe you can see this hand here is mature already she's um, about to start laying and um, you want to when you want to start the procedure you want to ensure that the hen is calm if there are a couple of them you want to ensure that the house uh, the house is calm and you want to ensure that you have given the the hen what we call vitamin k vitamin k is usually found in special multivitamins and it helps in blood clotting so in case the hen begins to bleed from the beak vitamin k in the body will ensure that the blood clots quickly that is the flow of blood stops in a very short time so you want to ensure that you get, place them on that vitamin for about two days prior to the operation and then after the operation you can give them multivitamin so that they can fully recover it's a whole lot of stress so you want to ensure that during the process you reduce stress coming from you as much as possible so quickly we are going to start the procedure with this end and you are going to see how the whole thing will go just right now okay sorry so you want to place the hand you want to make sure that she's calm I know if you are doing a couple of hundreds or even thousands, you, might, you may not have that luxury of time and patience to be handling the ends like this. But then you will not do that alone. You'll be doing that with a couple of persons helping you. So you want to undo the hand debaker. This is the right way to undo it. Yes, this way this way okay so one other important thing here is that you want to pull the tongue of the of the hand backwards just before you cut the beak so that you don't cut the tongue if you do so you have just <laughs> it's as good as killing the hand so you want to hold the truth this neck region gently just to pull the tongue back the tongue backwards just before you cut so you hold the hand firmly then you pull you put this here and then you cut yeah it's a very painful one as you can see okay i did i don't like the way the lower hand is cut yeah mm, just a little more mm, so that's done 
so that's just how to cut you can see she's already hitting right here crazy so that's just how to cut the beak of your hand if you have a couple of them maybe 10 20 50 even up to 200 or even 500 i think this thing will work you just you just all you need is a help maybe one or two persons to help you get the beds you sit down and as they are passing you undo the end appropriately and then you cut so but when you have them in thousands i would advise you go with the automatic debaking machine that just goes i'm going to show you right now it just goes up and down up and down the blade the elements just goes up and down all you need to do is hold the chicken place the chicken it is caught automatically just leave that hold another one put hold the next and just like that so that makes um the procedure faster but the same principle is still going to be followed you have to ensure that the tongue is held back and you don't cut the beak too close to the nostrils that you damage the, the chicken's organs so thank you very much for watching if you think you got value please click the like button and also if you want to see videos like this continually please click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can get immediate alerts when new videos are posted thank you once more bye and see you in the next video